Hey guys, it's Jen. I hope everybody's doing well. And of course, in the 11th hour, they came to an agreement. We all knew that would happen. Um, the other day, um, I was reading some articles. Um, actually, I it started off, I was curious. Um, you know, sometimes some websites will um, compile a list of um like stupid government spending and it had to do um after somebody made a comment and i made a comment back about you know during all this stuff how you know the obamas are still playing golf and how you know michelle <clears throat> goes on these fancy ass vacations and how much money she spends on her wardrobe actually i think i mentioned it in my last video but um i had looked at you know, I found this website. <laughs> it was actually kind of funny. Uh, I'll put the link below. I'm not going to go through it. But it was like the top 60 dumbest things our federal money goes towards, what they waste money on. And um, I thought it was kind of appropriate to bring it up. This part now, this isn't the focus of the video, though. Um, just with, you know, the, raising the debt ceiling and all that stuff, what they're wasting money on. Now, keep in mind, in the big scheme of things, it's a drop in the bucket, but I mean, really, they spent like hundreds of thousands of dollars to measure ducks, dorks, really, to figure out the ducks' reproductive systems, how they do, you know, th their patterns, I mean, you know, and part of it was measuring a duck's dork, their dick. Um, another one was trying to figure out why lesbians are obese, which, no offense, I I don't think you could pigeonhole, you know, just lesbians into being obese when you look across this country. And personally, I think that's just between them and their doctors. So I don't even, but neither here nor there, that's a small example of what they waste money on, right? So I brought this up a little bit in my last video, but I'll put the link below. Um, Anyhow, um, afterwards, you know, I was just clicking link after link after link. You know, one thing will lead to another, will lead to another. And I came across this article from May of this year. Um, it was from the Washington Post. And um, I actually really like this article. Again, the link will be below. <clears throat> and it says the fact is that the president needs a new agenda, not a better way of selling the status quo. Um, if we define the success of the Obama presidency by examining some of the quantifiable facts that measure our country's progress, it's hard to argue that the lives of Americans have improved over the past four years, or that these discouraging trends are going to be reversed anytime soon. And it goes on to talk about our um, unemployment rates, and they broke it down in numbers really well. You know, there's 9.5 million people that have been dropped out of the labor force since he took office in 2009. Um, basically, the participation rate, that means for American citizens, only 63.6% .6 of Americans are actually working. It doesn't even go into the fact that, you know, there's lower paying jobs now, less full-time jobs, and so many other factors that really put it into perspective that it needs to be looked at, but this is just a quick overview. Um, also, 15.2 million more, more, not total, but 15.2 million more people are on food stamps than they were in February 2009 when he took office. Now, I know he's just a mere puppet master. Again, this isn't even what the video is about, but this will kind of segue into what I really want to discuss. Um, and we all know that, you know, strings are being pulled and, you know, he's just parroting what they give him to do. Um, also talks about how gasoline prices have almost doubled under his administration and how the median household income has dropped more than 3000 during his presidency. And also one other little tidbit that um, really puts things in perspective our current national debt translates to more than 148000 per taxpayer, not per all citizens, everybody that's actually in the country, just actual citizens, not all the illegals that are in here, but just per citizen. It's a hundred. It works out to be $148,000 of debt per taxpayer. 
Now, back in 2008, it was 90,000, which is still, I mean, outrageous, but to have, you know, almost a $60,000 jump in the last few years. Um, they also pointed out the infamous misery index, which was created by Jimmy Carter, has gotten worse under the Obama presidency. Remember, the misery index is the unemployment rate plus the inflation rate. In January of 2009, the index was 7.83, and as of March 2013, it increased to 9.7. So that was just a little tidbit I wanted to share with you. Five minutes worth of tidbits, sorry. <laughs> but um, anyhow, I noticed with this, you know, impending crisis and everything that they're, um, you know, all the attention is on this impending, you know, financial crisis and things like that. Of course, as you know, a lot of us share the opinion that this was done on purpose. Um, you know, whether it's a test run for something else or um, just a distraction. I mean, let's look at it. You know, what was, um, what have been some of the, like, the major things that have happened? You know, the last few, just in the last few years, not even collectively, I mean, in the last decade or two, but just recently that are actually huge deals that nobody is talking about. Granted, we are in this little, you know, I want to say truther community. I mean, but no better way to say it other than us, nobody else is talking about it. And I mean, where's anything on Benghazi? Nobody's talking about it. Why? Because they were talking about this impending crisis. Sandy Hook, of course, we'll never get answers from it. But you know what? They were supposed to collect all the information and process everything and give us updates and tell us what was going on. Did that ever happen? No. Will it ever happen? No. Boston Marathon. Any more answers? Nope. Will there ever be? Probably not. The D.C. Um, shooting thing that happened to that woman just recently. Anything on that? Nope, they just chalked her up to being crazy and got people to collaborate that and no more. Stop being talked about. The NSA Snowden thing. I mean, for crying out loud, we're being watched right now. If you're watching this video, reading comments, making a comment, it doesn't matter whether it's with me or anybody else, me doing this video, we are being watched with a microscope up our collective asses and nobody's talking about it. Nobody cares. I mean, really, there's a lot of us that do care, but collectively, if you look at it percentage-wise and what's going on in the world and people of this country, and not just, it turns out it's happening worldwide. Anybody anybody talking about it? Anybody really demanding answers? A, a huge number of us. There are, like I said, some of us there are. But as a collective, it's no longer being discussed. Um, Syria, anything else on that? Fuck no. The Navy Yard shooting? Anything? Anyone? Nope. The Kenya Mall shooting? Nope. The pesky details of, you know, BO care, Obamacare, whatever you want to call it? Anything? I granted that's being talked about a little bit, but you know what I mean. I mean, the details. What's in the details? Mary Pelosi said, well, let's just hurry up and get it passed and we can read about it and find the details out later. Um, genetically modified foods. Any big to do on that? Nope. IRS debacle. <clears throat> Anything on that? Oh, hell no. Will we ever hear about that again? Probably not. And granted, some of you may come back and say, well, here's an article on this recently. Or here's an article. But it's just these fleeting little things, if anything. But they're all forgotten about. And everybody was focused on this debt ceiling thing and the government shutdown which in my opinion was a planned event. I mean, like a magician, look at this hand, look at this hand, look what I'm doing over here, but don't pay attention to what I'm doing over here. Or, hey, <clears throat> oh my gosh, look what's happening, the sky's falling, the sky's falling. But just forget about what's happening on the ground. It, It's just a distraction. I, I knew in my gut, just like last time, the 11th hour deal would come in and everything would be fine. Of course, that's what happened. A lot of people thought that. And it's always good to be prepared. Better to be safe than sorry. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying I it was a planned orchestrated thing because nobody is talking about all the other major issues that are going on. And they'll probably, 
if any, nothing will be talked about. So, anyhow, that's just my two cents on it. Like I said, I'm sure there's more you could add to that list that I just rattled off. That's just what I could think of off the top of my head of things that nobody's talking about. Nobody wants to talk about. Everybody forgot about. So, that's just my thought on it. It was just a distraction. At least this, you know, current debacle is over for now. Until, what is it, January 15th when it will start all over again. And then, such is life. I'm sure we'll have some other fiascos to talk about in between now and then. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. <clears throat> but each new thing that happens, whether you want to call them a false whatever or hoax or whatever, doesn't matter. All these things happen. These little tests, these little drills keep happening. And people want answers for them. And instead of giving people answers, they create another chaotic scene. Instead of confronting what they've done or what they haven't done, they just create another dramatic episode as the USA turns. So, anyhow, I hope everybody's doing well. And um, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.